Hey guys, wanted to give you an egg sac update. Uh, really quick, recently I've lost an Agacephalus Isendami and two Versicolor sacs. So just bad luck there. My Vegans did breed and I'm hoping that she will drop soon as well as my Sturmi. I'm hoping to get a nice breed out of them in the near future. I have a Nandu Chromatis mom here that was bred with a mature male from School Man. And she's had this sack for a week and it's starting to look a little bit dry in there. And I really want to feed her so I'm going to go ahead and pull it so I can give it some more moisture and go ahead and get her fed up. Especially due to the luck I've had in the last few weeks. This is one of my incubation chambers that will go inside of my incubator. It just has damp vermiculite and I just make kind of like a little trench area. Now for the fun part. Whew, that is ginormous. Obviously my primary goal is to take the sack without upsetting mom too much or having her try to eat it or sink her fangs into it. Mm, she's really holding on to it. Whoo, she's biting, biting, biting. Whew. Oh my gosh. Thought she laid into it, but I had my net positioned exactly right. I'm gonna cover her really quick so I can check on them. I know, honey, I know. I'm sorry, she's got her laid into my net and she's just yanking and yanking. I know it seems really cruel to take it away from her, but obviously I have the well-being of her little ones on my mind. She will not let go. Oh my gosh. She is really trying to pull the net away from me. Okay, she is strong. Holy moly. Okay, I'll feed and water her, but I want to see this egg sac really quick. Now, this is the biggest egg sac that I've ever seen. This actually is really loosely rolled, which is not what I'm used to seeing. And you see it's not really all that circular either. It's got like this weird little tail on it. And it's really loose and kind of strange shaped. Very interesting. My vermiculite is just perfect. So I'm going to put it here on the edge and I'll roll it about 180 degrees every 12 hours. I know that they're good. Well, they feel good anyway. Um, if you have a sack that's really dense or stinky or kind of like off colored, usually that means it's no good. But that one, although it's weird looking, it looks good. Other than that, it feels good. Nice and loose, which means the babies aren't clumped together, which usually indicates decay. And I'm going to let you guys go so I can feed and water mom. So that was my Nandu Chromatis egg sac. Hope you guys liked. Questions, comments below. Subscribe if you love me and I'll see you again soon.